welcome to today's episode of Mini Scholars. Today we're looking at the word transport and we're looking at transport in the noun form of the word, which in this context represents a system or a collection of methods to move people from one place to another. There are many different types of transport which we sometimes refer to as modes of transport. The first mode of transport we're going to look at is a car. A car is a vehicle that can carry up to four or five passengers, sometimes more. It has four wheels and a steering wheel at the front for the driver. A car uses a road to get from one place to another. As we've just mentioned, there are many different types of transport, so let's look at another one. Another form of transport, or mode of transport, is a train. A train can carry hundreds of passengers, but it does not use a road to get from one place to another. It uses something called a track. A network of trains can sometimes be called a railway. The most popular railway in Hong Kong is called the MTR. Another mode of transport is a bus. A bus is a large vehicle that can carry lots of people, usually about 60 passengers. And like a car, a bus uses a road to go from one place to another. The next mode of transport we're going to look at sounds similar to a train but it's called a plane. A plane is very different because although it's very big, it's even bigger than a train and it has something called wings. Planes can also carry hundreds of people, but they do not use a road to go from one place to another. A plane flies in the skies. There are still more modes of transport to look at. The next one we're going to look at is a boat and boats come in different shapes and sizes. They do not use a road to go from one place to another. Boats float on the water. You might see a small boat on a lake, but larger boats will use rivers or the sea to go from one place to another. One type of boat is called a ferry. The most popular ferry in Hong Kong is called the Star Ferry, one of which carries passengers from TST to Hong Kong Island. Another famous ferry here in England is called the Mersey Ferry. It takes passengers from a place called the Wirral across the River Mersey to a city called Liverpool. Another type of boat that's larger than a ferry, a ship can normally be found in the sea and can take thousands of passengers from one place to another, usually from one country to another country. Lastly, we have another form of transport. This one's a bit different because we generally don't use this one in our day-to-day -day lives. A person who would use this mode of transport is an astronaut. Can you guess what the transport is? It's a rocket. Rockets are very tall, and when they launch into the sky, they make a huge roaring noise. Rockets fly through the sky, and they go all the way into space. So, as you can see, they're a bit different from the other modes of transport that we've just spoken about. But I thought you would like to know about the rocket. That's all of the modes of transport that we're going to talk about today. Shall we recap on which ones we had? We had a car, a train, a bus, a plane, a boat, and a rocket. Now, before I go, I'd like to practice my phonics with you. Today, we're going to practice the phonics for the letters R, B, and T. So let's practice R first, R for road. So R makes the sound R. Now let's practice the phonics sound for B. The letter B makes the sound B. The last sound I'd like to practice today is for the letter T. We use T for the word transport. We also used it for the word track. And of course, we used it for the word train. The letter T makes the sound T. T. It's time for me to go now. But remember, all of the words that we learned today are available for free at veryrealenglish.com forward slash English Dan. There you will find an activity sheet with all of the words that we learned today. If you have any questions about the words that we learned today or anything in this video, leave your question in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, happy learning and remember to join me next time where we'll be looking at the subject shopping. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye.